Hey guys! I'm sitting in front of my bookshelf today and trying something new, so we'll see how this works. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite books, which is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkin. I mentioned a few months ago how I wanted to do an actual review of this book and talk about it, so I'm finally getting to this. I've wanted to do it for a long time. Anna and the French Kiss is about Anna, who is being sent to Paris to spend her senior year of high school. So not only does she have to deal with moving to a new school and making new friends, but it's set in France, so she has to deal with this language barrier and cultural differences, things like that. One thing I really loved about this book is that it is set in Paris, and Stephanie Perkins really did an amazing job with just describing the city and everything in it. I've never been to Paris, but reading this book and just seeing it through Anna's eyes makes me feel like I've been able to see a little glimpse of the city, and it's wonderful. Another thing I really love about this book is the characters. Anna is a great narrator and she's very easy to relate to and she has a lot of different quirks and things she likes, but also her friends are fantastic. The characters are just really interesting people that I would love to meet in real life. For example, Etienne St. Clair. I butchered his name, didn't I? St. Clair is this adorable, charming, funny guy who is just lovable in every kind of way. And he has a serious girlfriend, so we know there's going to be some sort of drama relating to that. Overall, it's a really easy book to read that's fun and adorable and cute and everything want in a book. Like I said, it's one of my favorite books even after I've read it a few times. If you haven't read it, I I strongly urge you to go out and get this book. If you have read it though, there is a companion book called Lola and the Boy Next Door, which is not a sequel because it's about different characters, but a few of the characters in Anne and the French Kiss make some reappearances and it's just adorable and cute also. And finally I gave this book five stars because I love it and it's one of my favorites and even after reading it a few times it's just so great and wonderful and beautiful. I feel like I could keep talking about Anne and the French Kiss for a long time but it would probably just be repeating what others have said about it. If you need any more evidence as to why you need to go read this book you should check out John Green's video and Alex Carpenter's. I'll put links to them up here. That is all for now, so I will see you guys next time.